All right, so I just completed chapter two of Misty Island and I figured that I would make this video to help you guys understand chapter two and give you the tech on how to beat chapter two as quick as possible. It is pretty hard, but if you've been doing Misty Island every day and you got your upgrades, it shouldn't be too difficult. This is what I have upgraded, but yeah, you don't necessarily need to do exactly what I did, but this is just what I have. All right, so you're gonna talk to him. We're gonna click chapter two and we're gonna go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, and you'll notice, is you have a return scroll. So you only get one of these, and these this will come in collect later. So the first six days of Misty Island, the first six days of Chapter 2 are really, really simple. Like, there's no bosses in the waves um, or anything like that. It's a 12-day chapter, unlike the 10-day previous chapter. That in mind, it is longer, but the first six days are really, really easy. Start off like normal, craft your your stone tools, and go get as much iron as you can early on. Iron is really, really important. Chapter two, and the other thing with chapter two is you're gonna want to get. Yo, where the hell is this iron at? You're gonna want to get your gold tool as fast as possible. It is very, very important. So we're gonna try to get a bit of iron. You gotta keep track of a lot more stuff in chapter two. You need way more food. Your acting power goes down pretty quick. There's a lot of stuff. There's also a new pink ore that you need to get. So we're gonna get this iron and then we're gonna we're gonna chop some trees down so we can start making our, our table. So this first day that I'm spending, I'm just gathering like the basic resources to try and get gold pickaxe as fast as possible. Now, again, like the first wave, uh, the first two waves, you don't necessarily need anything. If you just have like a basic weapon, that's all you really need. So I'm going to get a little bit of food just so I have something on the way back. And now I'm going to go back because I should have enough resources to make the table and make a steel pickaxe. So we're going to go here. We're going to go craft, structure, survivor workbench, craft a board, craft a rope, structure, workbench. Put this down and now we can craft. Uh, I'm gonna make a palm tent and this will come into play later. This palm tent, craft it and we'll keep it for later. So we have stamina to keep mining. I'm gonna make an iron sword just to have this for now. Early game, probably just make the iron sword, but we're gonna need the steel pickaxe is the most important thing. So one iron, one rod, one charcoal, make a steel pickaxe so you're good. And now go and get as much gold and food as you can over the next day. You need to make a gold pick as soon as possible you need to actually do some like serious mining here okay so it is a bit rng where the portals and stuff is so hopefully you could find it pretty quick so there's some gold here yeah so collect as much gold and iron as you can but before we can make the gold pick we need to upgrade our work table to an industrial work table so we need at least five of this we need to get a bunch of gold so we have a good amount of gold here i'm gonna kill this thing for food because we are getting a decently low on food i'm gonna switch my tool if it lets me that's so laggy Kill these for food. Fish are really good on food. So if you have it to find fish, kill the fish. I'm just going to leave this area. I'm going to go back so I can craft food. Also, it would be a good idea to make a bag as early as possible. So I'm going to craft a, a bonfire and I'm going to craft a bonfire, place it down, put this in here so I can eat. Pro tip with food is put it on a hockey so you can eat really fast. So now I don't have to open my inventory to eat. It's just on a hockey. And I could just eat immediately. Okay, so we're going to upgrade our structure. Industrial. We're going to upgrade it. And now we're going to get a golden pick. Now with the gold pick, we're going to go on a crazy mining spree. We need to mine a lot. So we're going to put the gold pick here. We're going to get rid of the steel pick. And we're going to make a bag. Make a bag so we can hold stuff. Put all our resources in the bag. The things that we're, we're going to get a lot of probably is better to put in the bag. So all of this stuff put it in the bag and now we go but actually there's gonna be a raid real quick so we'll just do this raid real quick but since we're waiting for the raid we might as well like make something while we're waiting and i'm not even gonna waste any resources to be honest on this so we're just gonna kill this raid really quick yeah you can make multiple bags and then days three to six we're gonna spend make getting as many resources as possible it only gets a little bit tough during raid nine but as long as you have stuff it's free Okay, so we're gonna get this stuff. Remember that the, the health bar in the middle is a resource, so even if it is taking damage, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we beat this raid, so now we're just gonna go and uh, 
get as many resources as we can. We have the gold pick and the gold pick allows us to get like a ton of stuff. We also need to make a gold axe. So ideally you would, you would want enough gold to make a gold axe too. I don't have enough to make an axe. So we're going to get a little bit more gold and then make a gold axe. Actually, we don't even need the gold axe. Hold on. I know what we're going to do. So we're going to get a bunch of gold and a bunch of iron. And then we're going to make a chainsaw. But we need to upgrade our work table again. But you want to make sure you get a ton of iron because even though we're at this like gold point, uh, iron is still really, really valuable. Opening the world map, like you could kind of tell where you are. So it's a lot more helpful that way. You need to make it to the to the outskirts, these, these colored these colored regions, these like lighter colored areas to get the lava stones. I think all you need to get is like two areas worth of lava stones and you're good. Be really careful for the saber toothed tiger. The saber toothed tiger is super dangerous. So, and, and that big bird, like the, there's new monsters. Be super, super careful. But this is what we want. We want these pink ores because you can see uh, for the crafting recipe for the next structure engineering, we need five of these lava ores, lava stones. This is where the palm tent comes in handy that I mentioned before. So we're going to place the palm tent and it'll res our acting power. This way we can mine and fight more often. Palm tent is like super easy to craft too. So no big deal. It does take a while. You can see like it does take a while with the gold pick. Even with a gold pick like these lava ores do take a while. This is probably enough stuff to go back. So we're going to go back here. Yeah, so we're going to use our return scroll. Okay, so we're going to upgrade this structure okay so the recipe is pretty expensive but yeah so one two three four but it's worth it once you upgrade this then you can create in your weapons you have a whole new access yeah access new stuff so two ropes one two weapon two rods iron plates and now you could get the dual bow gun this is gonna carry you bro this weapon is so op bro it is so op like it is so op you can uh, outrange pretty much anything with it. So it's really, really, really good. But the thing about the dual bow gun is the duration goes down pretty fast. So you got to be careful. So we're going to keep crafting some stuff. We're going to make better tools. So we're going to make the hand drill. Hand drill is crazy OP for mining. So we're going to make the hand drill. So we don't need our gold pick anymore. And then we're going to make the chainsaw. Chainsaw screw iron plates one two i had the perfect amount boom there you go so now we have like busted ass tools and now now we need to make armor and we're gonna work towards getting uh enhanced walls too so to get enhanced walls we're gonna need cement and to get cement you need rain water filler so we do need more uh trees so you can see that the chainsaw just one shots trees like no problem it just one shots all the trees can't see anything what the hell a little hungry yeah we need food too So you could just run around and just destroy like everything with these tools. Like nothing is a problem. Dual bow gun just does a stupid amount of damage. It has crazy range. So you could just outrange like everything. Hand drill just one shots like all the ores. <laughs> it's like, it's just broken as hell. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the chainsaw here. Okay, so we're gonna go back up. The first two raids are really easy, so don't need to worry about this. Just got to make sure you watch the dual bogan's durability. So as you can see, it just like destroys these things like no problem at all. It just like obliterates them and you can outrange anybody. Just make sure that you watch the duration on it. So it's at 75. Just make sure it doesn't break. If it gets low, you could drop the item and then pick it up again for it to refresh its uh, durability. Okay, so we need to pick up some more food. There's obviously other food recipes you can use, but I keep it very simple because you don't really need anything too crazy for food. So we're going to go all the way left to where the tiger was. I think it was over here. Yeah, and we're going to kill the tiger. Okay, so we got these and we can make some really nice shoes with these. Kill this dude. This dude gives a ton of food. All these guys give a ton of food, so. Oh, wow. He gave me, like, resources, too. I didn't know he dropped all this stuff. That's pretty good. Oh, bird. Okay, we're going to kill the bird, too. We have the dual bow gun, so literally nothing is scary. <laughs> Stupid bird. Get rid of our poison. We don't need it. Um, food. Okay, so we're going to use our hand drill here. 
So our doable gun's at 50%. We got to keep that in mind. So even against this, like even with the hand drill, it's pretty tough. But this is still way faster than gold, right? So the hand drill's like really, really good. Yeah, we probably need more iron. So we're going to look for iron veins. We have the rainwater filler. All you really need is the rainwater to fill like once. So we're good. Are we just going to stand here for a bit? The mobs respawn, so it's fine. Stand here for a bit and then uh, TP back. We need more tiger mats. Okay, so feather boots, ideally you want to craft these. They're broken as hell. I don't have enough because I'm dumb. Okay, so let's make some more food so I could empty my inventory. Structure, bonfire. I obviously know there's better like food alternatives, but this is like fine for now. Make more bags. Yeah, we should make another bag. Bags are really good. You could store a lot of stuff in them. So we'll make another bag. Put a lot of stuff in here. It's laggy, of course. So I'm actually going to drop my bullgun here and pick it back up. So it goes back to 100 durability. Really easy cheese strat. Make some armor. I usually get gold armor. It's really easy to get. And then for helmets, it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. You can get whatever you want. Lantern hat, we'll try it just because it's new. So we'll get this. And I think we can see in the dark too. We're going to go and get more lion materials because we want to craft those feather shoes. Like they're broken as hell and I want to show you. I want to show it to you guys. Like the feather shoes are really, really good. Bring it back. This point in the game. Day nine raid. Yeah, I can TP. So it's all good. So we're going to use our DBG. Just destroy this thing. We're going to wait for him to respawn because I think we need more materials. I'll double check. So day nine is a little bit more tough, but yeah, we need more stuff. So we're going to TP back. Four of each tiger mat. Yeah. So we're going to TP back and deal with this raid, then go back. So I'm just going to try and make like a um, couple walls real quick just to like delay just a little bit. They come from the bottoms as well. You got to keep that in mind. Yeah, street lights also work. I'll show you guys how the street light tech works. So if you go to a uh, structure and make a street lamp, you know, one of these, one of these, um, and you make a street light, how it works is you could actually just place the street light like wherever, like right here. And then the mobs are like attracted to it. So. You can use it to like stall. So I'm just gonna like shred them with my dual bow gun. Dual bow gun's just like busted. Like it's just OP. Straight up. Yeah, so there's like a mini boss here. Uh, nothing for the power of the dual bow gun. He just gets shredded. So it's all good. Check our durability for the, for the bow gun. We're gonna drop it and pick it back up. And then we're going to go kill the tiger again so we could get the feather shoes and I could show you. But yeah, so at this point, like there's only one more raid left for day 12. Day 12 is a tough raid. So you want to make sure you have your walls up. So we're going to try and make like the good walls for day 12. You don't even need any structures really. As long as you have your walls up and your dual bow gun, like you're just chilling straight up. All right, so we're, we're trying to wait for the stupid uh, lion to respawn here. You're gonna need water for walls. Yeah, I already got the water set up. I placed the, the rainwater thing. Where the tiger at? There's probably another tiger on the other side of the island, but I feel like this one's gonna <laughs> better respawn. So. And the way your health regens, by the way, is you need your acting power and your fullness to be over level 70. It'll fill up. All right, so I don't know. This dude's ain't spawning, so we're going to try going on the right side. And in the meantime, I'm just going to craft, like, some whatever shoes just to help us, like, get there a little faster. There should be a tiger here, too. What the hell is that? What the? Okay, I've never seen this before, guys. But he's no match for the dual bow gun. He's no match. He's no, nothing is no mat. Nothing is a match for the dual bow guns, to be honest. Where the tiger at? Okay, there's no tiger. Odge. But that guy gave some good stuff. So, dude, we need a. 
But okay, you know what? Since we're here, let's just craft um let's just craft the good walls since we're here, okay? Wait, did I even set up the rainwater thing? I didn't. Oh my god. I didn't set up the rainwater thing. Oops. Um since I didn't set up the rain what the hell is an engine? Okay. That's for another day we figure that out. Oops, I didn't craft whatever doesn't even matter to be honest when we have the dual bow gun literally doesn't even matter but there's a lot more to this this is just one strat that we found with the dual bow gun that is just broken as hell so i feel like this feels like as a guide like if you're just trying to do chapter two fast like dual bow gun is like so broken it's so broken bro yo this damn tiger doesn't want to respawn he's scared damn bro i can't even get the, the fucking shoes oh well Okay, I spent a lot of time trying to get the shoes, but I took an L. Maybe we'll try the top right area. So we'll explore all of the, the top right areas. Actually, wait, there's a chance here. I'm quick. Uh, structure. Rainwater. Okay, fill up, fill up, fill up. Whatever. Fill this up. The toolbox will get the demo hammer so that we can break uh so that we can break the um the walls and place the good ones down so we got our water now we can make um cement enhanced walls we need eight cement one two three four five six seven eight we need uh, four of these. One, two, three, four. Gold bars. One, two, three, four. And then 16 bricks. So we don't know which way the boss is going to come in. But these super walls should make it like brain dead as hell. So defend. Enhanced wall. I think I accidentally broke the <laughs> I accidentally broke the the fucking table too. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I, oh, okay. It, you can replace it. That's fine. Wait, did I just nerf it? Yo, I did nerf it. Oops. Whatever, bro. We have our dual bow gun. I'm going to drop it and pick it up again. Didn't place the last wall. Wait, I didn't. Oh, oops. Oh, I accidentally broke it or something. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to place our wall. We have our dual bow gun. DBG takes care of everything. I really wanted to show you those shoes. You can see how the light post blocks the mobs. I really want to show you the shoes. The shoes make you, like, legit go crazy. Like, the speed and jump is crazy on them. So, I do recommend getting those shoes, too. Make sure you check your dual bow gun because... It can get really low really quickly. So make sure you, you're constantly checking it. But these guys are like nothing. You can outrange everybody too. And you can tell like, you know, with these gold walls, like it's just free. Like nobody can get past you besides the flying mobs. This is the big boss. So you could just, uh, you could just outrange him. Oops. You could just outrange him with the, uh... okay. I'm doing a bad job of outranging him. But you could just outrange him with the with the dual bow gun. But since he's on an incline, I gotta jump. But the gold wall definitely holds him back for a really long time. When I first did this, it took me a whole entire day of clearing him because I only had the gold hammer. But there you go, that's it. It's free as hell. And then that's chapter two. Easy. But yeah, to reiterate, chapter two, uh, first six days, even nine days really are free as hell. Just try and rush to do a bow gun. Do a bow gun, try and rush it and get gold tools as quick as possible. And it's free. Like, that's really all you need, to be honest. And for those who wanted to see what points I have right now, these are the points that I have. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this helped you guys out and you understand chapter two better and just this game mode in general better because it's really not as bad as people think off the bat you just gotta know what you're doing and then you'll be good